Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to discuss a topic that's on the minds of many people, and that is, how much debt is too much debt. Debt is a part of our financial lives, and for many of us, it's necessary. Debt is a common aspect of many people's financial lives, and it's often necessary in order to achieve certain goals or manage unexpected expenses. Let's take a closer look at why debt is a part of our financial lives and how it can be both helpful and harmful. Firstly, debt allows us to make large purchases that we might not be able to afford upfront. For example, buying a home or a car would be nearly impossible for most people without the option of taking out a mortgage or an auto loan. Similarly, student loans can help us invest in our education and increase our earning potential in the long run. Secondly, debt can help us manage unexpected expenses. Medical emergencies, home repairs, and car accidents can all create unexpected expenses that we might not have the cash on hand to cover. Credit cards and personal loans can help us manage these expenses and avoid financial hardship. However, while debt can be helpful in certain situations, it can also be harmful if not managed properly. High levels of debt can lead to financial stress, limited options, and even bankruptcy. High interest rates on credit cards and other loans can lead to a cycle of debt that can be difficult to break. In order to use debt effectively, it's important to have a plan in place for repayment. This means creating a budget, tracking your spending, and making regular payments towards your debts. It's also important to be mindful of interest rates, and fees when taking out loans or using credit cards. So, how much debt is too much? The answer to this question can vary depending on a number of factors. The first thing to consider is your debt-to-income ratio, which is the ratio of your monthly debt payments to your monthly income. If this ratio is above 40%, it could be a sign that you're carrying too much debt. This means that you're spending too much of your income on debt payments and may not have enough money left over for other expenses or to save for your financial goals. Another factor to consider is your credit score. A good credit score can help you qualify for lower interest rates, which can save you thousands of dollars in interest payments over the life of your loans. If your credit score is below 600, it could be a sign that you're carrying too much debt. This is because a low credit score can make it difficult to qualify for new credit and may result in higher interest rates on your existing loans. The type of debt you have is also important to consider. Some types of debt, like student loans and mortgages, can be seen as good debt because they can help you build your wealth over time. Other types of debt, like credit card debt, can be seen as bad debt because they typically come with high interest rates and no long-term benefits. If you have a lot of high interest credit card debt, it could be a sign that you're carrying too much debt. Your financial goals are also a factor to consider. If your goal is to become debt-free as soon as possible, then any amount of debt could be too much. However, if your goal is to invest in real estate or start a business, then some debt may be necessary to achieve those goals. Lastly, you should consider your comfort level with debt. Some people are comfortable carrying large amounts of debt, while others prefer to be debt-free. It's important to find a balance that works for you in your financial situation. But there are some general guidelines that can help you determine if you have too much debt. First, let's define debt-to-income ratio. Debt-to-income ratio, or DTI, is a financial metric that compares your total debt payments to your monthly income. This ratio is calculated by dividing your monthly debt payments by your gross monthly income, expressed as a percentage. For example, if you have a monthly income of $5,000 and you pay $2,000 in monthly debt payments, your DTI would be 40%. This means that 40% of your monthly income is going towards paying off your debts. Lenders use DTI as a way to assess your ability to repay loans and manage your debt. A high DTI may indicate that you're carrying too much debt and could struggle to make your monthly payments. On the other hand, a low DTI may suggest that you have a good handle on your finances and can manage your debt effectively. Generally, a DTI of 36% or lower is considered a good benchmark as it indicates that you have enough income to cover your debts and still have money left over for other expenses. However, different lenders and financial institutions may have different DTI requirements depending on the type of loan you're applying for, your credit score, and other factors. Another factor to consider is your credit score. Your credit score is a number that represents your credit worthiness based on your credit history. It's a measure of how likely you are to pay back your debts on time. The higher your credit score, the more likely you are to be approved for loans, and the better the terms and interest rates you'll be offered. When it comes to determining how much debt is too much debt, your credit score is an important factor to consider because it can affect the interest rates and terms you're offered on loans. If your credit score is low, you may be offered higher interest rates and less favorable terms, which can make your debt more expensive and harder to pay off. For example, let's say you're considering taking out a $10,000 personal loan to consolidate your credit card debt. 
If you have a good credit score, you may be able to qualify for a loan with a 7% interest rate and a three-year repayment term. This would result in a monthly payment of around $309 and total interest paid of $1,116. However, if your credit score is poor, you may only qualify for a loan with a 15% interest rate and a five-year repayment term. This would result in a monthly payment of around $237 and total interest paid of $4,240. As you can see, a lower credit score can lead to significantly higher costs for the same amount of debt. So, when considering how much debt is too much debt, it's important to keep your credit score in mind. You'll want to maintain a good credit score by paying your bills on time, keeping your credit utilization low, and minimizing the amount of debt you have. By doing so, you'll be more likely to qualify for loans with lower interest rates and better terms, which can make your debt more manageable and affordable. Next, let's talk about your financial goals. Financial goals are specific targets that you set for yourself to achieve with your money. They can be short-term, such as saving up for a vacation, or long-term, such as saving for retirement. Financial goals can help you stay focused on what's important to you and motivate you to make smart financial decisions. Setting financial goals can be broken down into three main steps. 1. Identify what's important to you. This could include things like paying off debt, saving for a down payment on a house, or investing for retirement. By identifying what's important to you, you can start to prioritize your goals. 2. Set specific goals. Once you know what's important to you, you can set specific goals that are measurable and achievable. For example, instead of just saying I want to save more money, you could set a goal to save $5,000 over the next year. 3. Develop a plan to achieve your goals. Finally, you'll need to develop a plan to achieve your goals. This could include creating a budget, finding ways to save money, and investing in assets that align with your goals. Here are some tips to help you achieve your financial goals. 1. Be realistic. Make sure your goals are achievable based on your current income and expenses. It's better to set smaller, achievable goals than to set large goals that you're unlikely to achieve. 2. Stay focused. Keep your goals in mind and stay focused on achieving them. This may mean saying no to unnecessary expenses or finding ways to earn more income. 3. Measure your progress. Track your progress towards your goals regularly to see how you're doing. This can help motivate you to keep going and make adjustments if necessary. Lastly, let's talk about the types of debt you have. There are two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Good debt is debt that is used to invest in your future, such as a mortgage or student loans. Bad debt is debt that is used to finance purchases that depreciate in value, such as credit card debt used to buy clothes or vacations. If you have a lot of bad debt, it's a sign that you may have too much debt. It's important to focus on paying off your bad debt before taking on more debt. So, how much debt is too much debt? The answer is, it depends. There's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question, as everyone's financial situation and goals are different. However, by considering your debt-to-income ratio, credit score, type of debt, financial goals, and comfort level with debt, you can determine how much debt is right for you. Remember, debt can be a powerful tool, but it can also be a burden. So, make sure you're using debt wisely and staying on track towards your financial goals. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.